I mean, this is simply unacceptable and sheer violation of environmental laws. The skull and the bones, that's how you know it's poisonous. This shit ain't good for you. And there are people barefoot dunking themselves in these dangerous chemicals. The Bangladeshi leather industry is worth around $1 billion per year. The finished leather is exported to the US and Europe, where it will be made into luxury coats, handbags, and shoes. But the process of tanning leather hides is highly toxic, and workers face appalling conditions with little regard for their health. 90% of the workers die before the age of 50, and the factories are responsible for poisoning the country's waterways. We travel to the capital, Dhaka, to the tannery district of Hazaribagh, to investigate this environmental crisis. I'm in old Dhaka. We're about to take a boat with a local NGO worker towards the tannery district to see where the toxic waste comes from. Is it that kind? With the hundreds of chemicals that's deposited into this river from the tanneries, how will this affect the people? Even this area, manor jane diarrhea, che nitto dinen beshay. Mane proti din, eta eta shabik beshay, kamal beshay. Kintu chok holu thay jatsi, gaaf ekashe thay jatsi. From what I'm understanding, they're eating the fish, they're drinking the water, they're getting diseases like hepatitis, uh, severe diarrhea problems. It's essentially poison being ingested into their body. They caught these fish from last night and they're showing us all the different kinds of fish they catch from this dirty sewer dump river. These fish have really sharp teeth and he says uh, when, when, you, when they bite you, it feels like your finger is going to get chopped off. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, no dir mas ki numra. Maniki. Kiate ona kya? Ocha judi pani nostu hoye jay, tar pore ki mas ishte ekta crash nir gungashi. Kintu, to be Kijano, we did get the tannery essay. I can think it's a chemical pani bear boy. Jano to me. To no dear parasha to it, a jano. Ashe the pani massi pani bula katsina. Here I go, Jay. I will put up on it at low, he must take it. Pani in Kalo Ayaga, I put him must take it, he must take it, he must take it, he must take it. These fish that these kids are catching are sold in the marketplace where people like me or any other family is eating. And what's worse is these kids, they're exposing themselves to this toxic water. We went to meet Philip who works for a local organization for human rights and environmental protection. He wanted to take us to the site where leather trimmings are dumped next to a highly polluted lake. Every day, the tanneries allow 22,000 cubic liters of toxic waste to flow into the main river. Hadari Bag is one of the five most notoriously polluted places on earth. So, Buriganga is actually a dead river because of this tannery industry here, tannery factories here. I mean, this is unimaginable and in violation of environmental laws. And they are polluting, but they are not treating, they are not paying. So, I mean, the polluters pay principle does not work at all in case of tannery. 
industry. What are those women doing? Uh, they are cleaning some plastics and you can see the water. It's, um, it's horrible. It's very, very toxic. So they are cleaning some plastic bags there for reuse. Is there chemical in that water? Oh, uh, definitely, you can, you can see with your um, open eyes. Let's go talk to the women yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. find out more about what they're doing down there. Their bodies are itching from from cleaning cleaning this dirty lake out. See look she has marks. You see the rashes that broke out of the upper hand and her arms? Oh my gosh. I feel bad for them that they work under these horrible conditions. And the rashes they're getting on their arms is just like, it's disgusting. The Tannery District is ranked among the 10 most polluted places on Earth. When we explored the surrounding area to see how people lived, we found the residents cramped in between piles of industrial garbage and animal carcasses from the factories. Well, I don't know how to describe the smell. It smells like all kinds of shit. And people are just laughing at me. I don't want to think about it. I think we should just... <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. even in the developing world, it is highly unusual for toxic industries to be situated in the heart of densely populated urban areas like Taka. We wanted to see for ourselves what goes on inside one of the 270 tanneries here, which employs some 15,000 workers. I'm in the Tannery District, one of the most polluted parts of Bangladesh. I'm about to go inside a factory and see what goes on here. Raw cow hides. Cow skin just hanging out here. Piles and piles of them. Tell me a little bit about how you process the cow hides. Yeah, chemical is chemical. 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 Sodium, sodium. 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 Once the cow hides have been processed in that barrel-like device there, it turns into this, which is leather. sodium, tuna. It's just amazing to see that this is how your leather purses, your leather boots are made by these guys right here. There's so many risks. They're not scared. They're not scared. 
scared of the, the chemicals they're walking through barefoot. That's how you know it's poisonous. This shit ain't good for you. And there are people barefoot and with their bare hands dunking themselves in these dangerous chemicals. For decades, there have been calls to move the factories out of the city, away from the residential areas, and build treatment plants capable of removing toxins from the water supply. But the tannery owners have refused to shoulder the costs of relocation. Oh my God, the fuck is that? That's chromium, that's the chemical coming out of the factory. And this water is then taken, goes straight into the river, the main river in Bangladesh where people fish, get their shrimp, and they're ingesting this chemical. Despite Bangladesh's environmental laws, the tanneries continue to operate outside of the system. As long as this situation prevails, workers and locals will continue to pay with their health for the West's desires for cheap high street goods.